54 points in the paint to Philadelphia. And one of the things that Boston doesn't do very well is to keep you off the glass. You can offensive rebound against Boston. They don't have a lot of, you know, they, they have Garnett, but Garnett is primarily a perimeter player as you see him make that jump shot. He defends in the post some. But it's the matchup here is Paul Pierce gets the ball. Not as athletic as some of the guys that Paul George is going to cover and will cover this year. What does he have to do to be effective against Paul? Over the last five games, shooting 54% from the field. Well, I think, you know, Chris, his, his wrist was bothered him, and he never said anything about it. And, you know, those some people on the inside know it, but I think... 51 to 42. Pacers just have to continue to get the shots like that and, and force the Celtics team to have to shoot jump shots because Paul Pierce and, and Garnett are not going to be able to make jump shots all night. He may make that one, but if he's making jump shots and you're getting, you know, layups or quasi... Skills. That matches a season high. Well, you know, the, 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 as he has learned to play the game, uh, I mean, people have learned to play him. He's got a better feel for what this game's about, too. I, I think most people have to take into consideration. Deep. Mahimi. Oh. That That's going to be tough. Kevin Garnett's waiting on that. Foul against Indiana. Yeah, th those are the plays that you, you got to make what you can do, right, Quinn? you, you got to stay within yourself. And I think that's the important thing. And when Mahimi gets this, he gets started. As soon as he gets started, I knew Garnett was going to be anticipating what kind of shot. Bradley, Jordan Crawford, Garnett, Jeff Green, and Jason Terry for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. That looked like a discontinued dribble. It was. And by that, ladies and gentlemen, that, that, that's illegal. He put his other hand on in to try to get the rebound. You know, you can see the alley-oop right there off the dribble. And then now, right in the center, you can see right there, they were tussling, and principally because, yeah, Tyler had hurt, and they let him switch. 0 for 9 and 3 of 22 from behind the yard. Garnett, one-point game. I mean, you can see these veterans and Paul Pierce is over here getting excited. 11-2 run by the Boston Celtics, and they've done it with Avery Bradley and Paul Pierce resting on the bench. 70-69, Indiana with a one-point lead as Kevin Garnett and company chipping away. Oh, I thought he was going to get it back. It's Lance Stevenson forced Jason Terry to dribble the ball behind Lance Stevenson's back. Not Jason Terry. Now Pierce to Garnett. Backdoor pass and Bradley ties it. Yeah, fell asleep that time. George Hill did. So the game is tied at 81. It's our little Kevin Garnett. Well, let's keep our eye on the Paul Pierce, Paul George matchup. Because this is the kind of thing Paul George and the Pacers are going to see throughout the playoffs. Bradley now gives it to Jeff Green guarded by West here's Garnett they're looking for Pierce they have back door to Green ah. scores ah they use it as a screen I mean with the, what happens is this where's where you're gonna have to watch because it's happening right here he's gonna get the ball they want to go to Paul Pierce now you see Garnett with it he's keeping his eye right there and you can see David West got locked up just enough that Green not only is able to get it, but he gets the read.